When driving through Georgia, they are unmissable. The bright colors of the mosaics dating from the Soviet era. However, they are disappearing everywhere and there is this conflict. Here, the art-loving Westerner thinking they have to be saved by all means. There, the Georgians, who, having experienced the dismay of the Soviet era, don't give a rat's ass about this kind of flat graphic art, especially since quite a few artists and politburocrats made a mint of money out of it. First things first. Mosaics have existed in Georgia since the times when it belonged to the Byzantine Empire. During the 30s, the Soviet Union decorated the metro station Mayakovsky in Moscow with mosaics. In Georgia and the southern parts of the Soviet Union, mosaics appeared during the 70s in Abkhazia, the Georgian Riviera, more precisely in Pitsunda, a modern proletarian exemplary resort that invited to visit the Black Sea coast with its seven skyscrapers, a casino and a ballroom. This is where Zurab Ceretelli created the first new mosaics, supposedly influenced by the Mexican muralismo, such as the mural paintings and mosaics by the upright communist Siqueiros. Ceretelli became one of the richest artists of the Soviet era. Today he owns his very own gigantic museum in Moscow, where he receives and paints away. Besides classic Soviet subjects, such as the Red Army Soldier, the Georgian mosaic artist also bet on classic subjects, which are representable far from any ideological position. That includes the thousand-year-long tradition in the matter of viniculture and potatory pleasures. Always convenient cosmonauts and space travel. Whereas the helmets often remind of glorials wherewith, iconographically, space travel laps into the religious. The golden age of the Soviet mosaics was during the 80s. Meanwhile, they are crumbling or, along with obsolete buildings, become subject to demolition, even though they are a specific expression of the Georgian history of art.